this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! Since last time, I sold all my trash loot, and I got a lot of new licenses for everyone, except Bon, who I'm going to be doing on screen for you now. We want to get the potion lore licenses. They boost the power of your potions, and those will be really useful uh, later on in the game there. Not so much right now, but once we get X potions, they're really good. We also want to get some of the cheaper magic lore licenses, but uh, there's a couple more expensive ones that eh, they're not as high of a priority for me. And we also want to get the cheapest five gambit slots, so that would be these five right there. So once you get all those, those are good. We also want to get some new katana licenses for the ladies there. So let's see. Yeah, there it is. Well, for two of the ladies, anyway. See, everyone, everyone else is going to want to get this license, because that'll lead into the heavy armor license anyway, so we might as well grab that, even if they're not going to be using shields. And then that'll lead into the next, yeah, the, the next armor. I'm still going to get bone mail, even though it doesn't have, oh, right, even though it doesn't have the protect status of the, uh, what is it, the shielded armor, uh, just because I'm not a huge fan of the protect status in this game, really. So, and let's see, the ladies will want to get Mystic Armor 6 and 7 there. Get it? There we go. And we've still got a ton of LP left over, but really I've gotten everything that I really care about for right now. So, uh, okay, so let's go buy some new stuff then. Today's probably going to be mostly preparations for the next uh, hunts that we're going to be doing. I'll try to fit in a hunt today if I can, but, well, I, I can't guarantee, oh, I can't guarantee that. There's some other things that I want to buy too. And I'm going to list all this in the video description too. I mean, I thought about just doing all this off-screen, but well, a lot of people have been requesting that I do more of this sort of thing on-screen, so I want to give that to Bosch there. Yeah, I skipped the demon mail because it's not really better than the shield armor, but I think the bone mail is at that point. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there was a new... Hmm. I thought there was another magic spell that I could get here. Maybe that's back at uh, Ravenaster, or maybe it's just this guy who sells it. Yes, there it is. It's the Vanish magic. Not that I'm really going to use it, but I figure I might as well get it, because I actually like magic for the most part. Let's see, and we also want to head to Nalbana. Now, they're selling some pretty unique stuff, too. We're not going to proceed with the plot today. That's that much is certain. But there are a couple hunts that we could try to take care of. Oh, yeah, you've still got uh, Berserk. If only there were a way I could just get rid of that status at will. But sadly, I have no such way of doing that. Oh, well. Yeah, for some reason, there's some spells that they will only sell here, which strikes me as odd, but whatever works for you guys. But anyway, once we get here, we want to get the Mighty Dispel magic, possibly the most obscene spell in the game. It basically, it well, it dispels any positive buffs that an enemy would have. It is really, really, really good in this game, because most bosses or rare marks or hunts or whatever will start with some amount of buffs on them that make them really annoying to try and kill. But if you just get rid of them, it makes them immensely easier, and most of the time they won't try to rebuff them anyway, so it's like, why bother having them in the first place then? So, yeah, it's very, very helpful throughout the game. But anyway, now we want to return to Robin Oster. Remember, we've been, well, talking to Kitchen throughout this whole game. Well, let's see if we can get our reward for finishing that side quest yet. I think this is the earliest point in the game where you can wrap up that side quest that we've been doing throughout the game here. A few people were telling me that you could do it earlier, but I don't think so. I think they're just pulling my leg. I think they're just gacking with me. Which I do that to you guys all the time, so I guess it's fair enough. Uh, huh, she's... Oh, I gotta talk to her. 
first. Okay. I was like, wait a minute, she's still here. So what are you going to do? Oh, you uh, haven't decided yet. Now, where she ends up will, de will depend on how you answered her questions. And if I did that correctly, then she'll be in the clan hall with her sister. So let's see if I did, if I answer these questions correctly. If I did not, then I screwed up somehow, and that would annoy me. Oh well. Dramatic tension. Ha ha! She's here. But anyway, if you answer her questions mostly negatively until the very end, you can get the Platinum Sword much earlier in the game than you otherwise would be able to get that. So let's give that to Bosh. And I would get rid of uh, his old weapons at this point. And I believe Mont Blanc has another hunt for us to do. Oh yeah, we did take care of that guy. I was like, who are you talking about? I mean, yes, yes, of course. I, I did take care of the guy. Ooh, this one. This one's pretty annoying. We're going to be taking that one on soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. To talk to the petitioner. Yeah, where is this one, anyway? It's not for a while that... Oh, it's in Nalbana. Huh. Oh, in the, uh... That one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that one is very annoying. Not as annoying as the... Uh, was it trickster hunt? But still, it's pretty difficult. So, okay. Well, let's get out of here then. Let's see. We got a lot more hunts to grab and equipment to buy. And there's also some new gambits that we can get too. But yes, we're finally going to be able to get one of my favorite gambits in the game, and I'll adjust that myself. Yeah, it's one thing about the game, they they don't give you like all the really good gambits until way later in the game. But I like being obscenely overpowered. But anyway, yeah, they got a lot of new gambits here. I'm gonna buy them off screen. Most of them Oh wait, no, it's not here, okay. Yeah, I'll just buy them off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, I've gotten all the gambits there, so the one that I really wanna change is the attacking gambit. We wanna change that to uh, foe lowest HP for everyone. The reason is because you basically, once you've damaged an enemy, you basically want to target the one who you're closest to killing at that point. And the nice thing about the, the way the gambit works is you don't need like a foe leader's target or a foe nearest visible gambit anymore. So you basically consolidate all of your attacking gambits into one very nice little gambit. And you won't attack them until after you've stolen from them and damaged them a little bit with your DPS character, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, that's a very nice gambit. Really wish they would have given that to us earlier in the game, though. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't think I would have really cared for, like, the elemental weakness gambits, although, obviously, they were very nice in Final Fantasy XIII. I mean, they weren't really gambits, but well, you know what I mean. But I mean, there's a bunch of new hunts that we could get over here, too. So, let's grab those. I'm afraid we couldn't get these until uh, after defeating Judge Bergen, unfortunately. So, But yeah, I'm just going to kind of skim through these here, if you don't mind. Mind Flare. Yeah, we'll be taking on those two hunts next. Bloodwing, that one's probably going to be a while before we do that one. Mostly because the enemies in the area are pretty hard. Atomos i trying to remember that one. Yeah, we'll take on that one pretty pretty soon. Rabban? Yeah, we're not going to take on that one. Yeah, it's in the Nebraeus Deadlands. That's a really high-level play area. And, uh, yeah, so we're not going to be doing that one for quite a while. I mean, I'll pick up the hunt and talk to the petitioners and everything, because we'll kind of be in the area. But And the Brig Hunt, who I showed off during my... Uh, what is it? Wasn't that the one that I showed off in my tech demo, or was I thinking of someone else? I could have been thinking of someone else. Whatever. 
But anyway, now I got some new equipment to buy. No new Technics that I care about here. I don't really care for the Technics that much, I'm afraid. See, I think I've gotten all the weapons that I care about, because we got the Platinum Sword, so we don't need to buy another sword. We got the... What is it? The new Katana. So, yeah. Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's go for Diamond Shield. Yes. And let's see, a couple Bone Helms would be nice to boost our strength a little more. Ooh, boosting quite a bit more. Bone Mail. That's another thing you gotta consider with uh, equipment. Not just the raw defense power, but also the, uh, the strength boost. Yeah, look at that defense boost, because I haven't been upgrading my armor much lately. Don't worry about being weak to holy. That'll, like, never become relevant. So, yeah. Let's see, we want to give that to Ash there. And the Black Garb, which seems kind of odd, being a mage type of equipment. I would usually think that would be like a, a leather piece of equipment or something. You know, like a, a ninja piece of equipment or something. That's usually like one of the ultimate ninja armors in various Final Fantasy games. I don't know, maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. But anyway, we got one more, well, a couple more things we want to do. We got some new I items we're finally selling here. See, Kronos Tears, they uh, cure the stop status, so we'll definitely want to get those. And I want to get a whole bunch of remedies for that carrot hunt, because that'll be really useful there. Alright, it looks like I had more than enough money for all this stuff. Well, it's nice to be a little ahead of where I thought I was going to be. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is... Well, it's close enough, I might as well do this on screen. But uh, we want to... Let's see, accept a hunt at the South Bank camp, so let's head on over there then. Might as well just teleport there. I don't have any papers to get through the gates this time, but can you just let me through anyway? Thanks. So, uh, yeah, you guys saw my gambits. I was thinking, do I need to show you my gambits? No. No, you've, you've seen them. It's too bad YouTube doesn't let me put, like, greater than or less than signs in my video description so I could actually just list them there. But, now they, they won't let me do that, unfortunately. So I can't really put in my gambits there, unfortunately. Oh, well. I can just do them on screen. But, anyway, I'm just going to accept this hunt just because I'm in the area. Uh, I might as well. It's going to be a while before I come here anyway, and I'm just going to teleport straight to the uh, the Barheim Passage when I decide to go there anyway. We're not going to go there for quite some time, so... Oh yeah, Daguza! Huh. Whoa. Made it into a rather difficult part of the uh, Barheim Passage. Yeah, the Barheim Passage is far bigger than what we saw when, during our last trip there. We could go through it right now, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait for later when it's gonna be a bit easier. Show no mercy. Bloodwing, the hunt begins! Okay, so I think that's all the preparations that we wanna make, so let's head on over to the Aruth Village. Let's at least get started on the next hunt. You got anything interesting to say? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Okay, well there is one hunt that I want to accept and then I think we'll just, uh, I think we'll just call it a day for today. Sorry, couldn't fit any action into today's episode, but, uh, you know, just lots of preparations to make today. Oh, well. Can't create comedic gold every day. I'd like to see someone do that. Anyway, 
We are looking for someone named Nira. No, that's not you. I figure she might not have a nameplate on her. Oh, she does. Okay. Yes, I did. I didn't because I didn't come because of your uh, cleavage or your skimpy outfit. Uh, I like this hunt. It gives a little bit more background and lore on what the Fiera do around here. Yeah, it is pretty quick. If only there were a way that we could just keep it from running around so much. That way we could actually hit it. Well, fortunately, unlike the trickster hunt, there is a way to do that. Vorpal Hunt Bunny, the hunt begins! Can we defeat it? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!